Intention is a secret message today. I have previously painted the sides of my canvas and uh, now I just created a dome with the tape. And when you do that, make sure that the sides are fully dry because if the paint is still wet, the tape will just not stick properly. So first of all, I want to do a dirty pour to create a vibrant multicolor base. I got some really hot colors for that. And after that, we will create the flow. So let's get started with that. The base color here is carmine red. It's a little darker red. Next, I have warmer red, which is vermilion orange red, which sort of on a border between orange and red color. Couple splashes of iridescent orange, just for some night pops throughout my background. Oh, I got a lot of air bubbles because I didn't remove the lid. And finally, I have a more vibrant, less transparent red. I think it would also help me create a nice background. You know what? Maybe we need some darker color as well. No, no, no dark color today. I do want my base to be quite bright and quite red so that the black flow really stands out on it. So let's just pour it out. Adding colors in the cup first before you pour them on the canvas really allows them to overmix a bit. And when you pour it out and start tilting, you get this beautiful, you know, freestyle lines. And of course, I got uh, something in my paint. Oh well. And red colors do tend to dry darker. So keep that in mind when planning out your color palette. Okay, I actually love the way my base look right now. So let's remove the tape. It's nice to have a toothpick handy and when you're tilting your base and if you see that something is not moving, Maybe there is a dry bit of paint. It's the time to remove it. Tilting to help my base level out and also get some paint on my sides. So there are nice drips. This way the painting and the sides are going to be all in the same style. I just decided that I want to smooth it out instead. Okay, this is interesting and I want to use black color primarily for that flow. I think that would be such a strong contrast, so... I missed the first part a little bit, but that's okay. Still need more black. And when you add in more paint, you don't need to aim at the same line. You can actually so create this shapes. This way the black will overmix more with red when you're going to be blowing this out. Okay, looking good. For some contrast, I decided that I want to do a couple of drops of Prussian blue. It's a very dark blue. It dries almost like black, but it will bring a little bit more of cooler tones in this painting because I'm going to also add some white and when it overmixes with white, it will give me just very mild pops of bluish color. So finally some white. And I'm adding it on the outside of the flow. So I know I'm going to be blowing this way. So see, I'm adding white only on the outside. So it's a great tip for you. If you want, don't want your white to dominate over black, you want it to be sort of behind the black. 
So always plan out your composition. Intention, right? Intention is... All right. I think I also want to have some silver. I've been totally digging this color lately, even though previously was not a fan. But you know what? I already have enough hot colors here with my base, so a cooler metallic will do it. Okay, let's blow it out. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I blew out my base and view section in a few sections as well, just to match the flow a little more. Oh my God, this is stunning. Okay, 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 okay. I wish I had more white here. Hmm, okay. So I want this to be bottom part and I want it to be a little heavier. Okay, let's work on details a little bit. want to have more white here I also want this part and this part to be a little bigger so I think I'll blow it out towards the side more I'm in love with this one I can tell you that I actually like having some black lines in my base. Let's add more. Just a very few and very mildly. Maybe even this is too much. Oh, this is neat. Something that happened by accident turned into a thing <laughs> for this painting. I love it when it happens like this. I still think that this part is a bit... I wanted it to be heavy, but it's too solid. So I need to blow off some of that black and make it just need to add some red to shine through it add an orange okay that's much better definitely nicer this way. There are a couple sections here that are just too solid. So I'm trying to make them lighter and more transparent by adding red and silver and white into them. And it's okay to have solid sections. Like I like it here and here, but some of them are just too much. Like I want it to be dynamic and light and airy, just dense. So much contrast and passion in this one, you know, there's definitely something about it. Please let me know what do you think about such a vibrant, hot base and minimal color of the flow itself. I'll chat with you in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.